beautiful Grand Design Reflection. Three six seven BHS. So they call it about thirty six feet, but it's actually forty one feet. So don't get mad in the comments below, folks. It's forty one feet of fifth wheel. This is the biggest reflection they make. Three six seven BHS. So this is a mid bunk design, four slide outs. It weighs about twelve and a half thousand dry with a GVWR of fourteen nine nine five. So you know a bigger diesel truck. You know that three quarter ton minimum is what you're going to be towing or parking 41 feet is a big rig so i guess we're outside so we'll start outside let's check it out so on the door side we have two awnings both electric running off 12 volt and it has nice led light strips under the awning so that gives you great lighting in the evening a big pass-through storage folks look at that tons of storage there's motion sensor led lights built in there's a plug you could set up a monster TV to watch the football game on Sunday. There's a battery disconnect. So when you're not using your coach, you just unhook that. Preserves your battery. We have a fridge. Why do you need a fridge? Well, I can think of several things to put in there besides Diet Pepsi, as Brian would say. Little fridge here, of course, only for the Diet Pepsi, but we'll let you decide and be creative as you see fit. Nice storage area here. You know, get that blender going for ice maker. Mix your cocktails all day, folks. I love this unit. I love this weather. Camping season is here, finally. Spray port. And then you got a beautiful finishing on these 2021 reflections. So they went to a high gloss gel coat finishing. So I don't know if you can capture this, Dasha, but when you zoom in on the sidewall, can you see these little phylons? They're like a weave of fiberglass. Can you see that? I think so. Do you guys see it? Comment below, tell us if we're doing a good job here educating you. On this one, you don't see that so much because this has a, a gel coat finish. So it's a thicker gloss. It is a fancier finishing. It's gonna give you a nicer luster. We have ground control 3.0. This is an auto level system, six jacks, because it's 41 feet. So you want that extra stability. Connect it with your app on Compass Connect. Use the monitor panel or the front button. It goes auto level. It'll beep when it's ready. Aluminum entry steps, a nice grab handle help you get into the rig. Arctic insulation, four season protection. Four season, you know, I don't know about here in Canada, it gets like minus 30 in the winter. So I wouldn't say it's designed for our winter camping, but you know, depending where you are, Arctic insulation package just means that it's superior. R30, R40, roof and floor, R23 slide floors. They double insulate the front cap. And you've got high capacity furnace and air conditioner on here. You've got two airs on this one, actually. Um, so you can keep this unit at the desired temp. So that's all that means. Plus, it's heated and closed underbelly with the 12 volt heat pads on the tanks. So, you know, if you're into that colder weather camping, hey, you're all set. They also added Moride CRE 3000. What is that, you say? That is an equalizer kind of enhancement on the suspension system that is greasable. So you have like wet bolts. So it helps with the towing experience, folks. It's Moride, which is a great brand name. And then we talk about brand names. We got Goodyear radial tires. So 16 inch wheels, aluminum wheels, easy lube hubs, Goodyear with TPMS, tire pressure monitor system by Lippert as standard equipment on this foundation. You know, 12,000 and a half, 41 feet. It's pretty heavy. Summer gets pretty hot. I don't know about you folks. If I'm towing this with my family around the country, I want to be safe. And part of that Grand Design's thinking is putting superior products on their coaches. Hence why the Reflection brand, folks, number one fifth wheel in North America. Just saying. Second awning, as we already talked about, a little cable plug if you want to put another TV outside. Man, people love their TVs. We got a nice ladder to get up 
to service the coach. Inspect those seals, folks. You have a one-piece TPO membrane by Alpha System, thermal plastic polyolefin. So it's a hybrid style of roof, you know, rubber vinyl hybrid that is less maintenance. You only need to wash it. You don't need to treat it. It's not going to produce crazy black streaks because it doesn't have so much off-gassing. And it's a full walk on deck, 16 on center. So feel free to walk wherever you want. You have a two inch receiver on the back with four pin wiring. If you wanted to get even longer, I don't know if you're allowed in the state or province you're in, but 41 feet plus a boat, I don't know, folks. I see it useful for a bike rack though. Your shore power off the rear, 50 amp service as we mentioned. LED lights inside and outside. Furion backup camera preparation. And then you've got solar prep on the roof. It's already pre-done at the factory. It's not just a little plug on the side. Other side of the storage. So monitor for your auto level. Dock for the tire pressure monitor system. And then right here, this is called the Nautilus water management. So you run your water line through the bottom here. You have your valves. So you can pull your gray and black tanks. It's gonna not corrode, not rust. It, very easy and it's hidden. Black tank flush, city water connection, water pump, so you can winterize right here, just set up the toggles to the proper corresponding feature. Hot and cold on the outside shower, satellite and cable prep, 110 outlet, and another motion sensor light. So you got one, two, three lights in this pass-through. Imagine if there's three lights in the pass-through, folks, how many lights are we gonna find inside? Stay tuned to find out. Don't go anywhere. Look at this. Yeah, I'm highlighting the exhaust for the furnace and the hot water. Why? Because some manufacturers don't think and put it on the door side where you're sitting under the awning. All those fumes and exhaust coming at you, hot heat in the summer. Who wants that? Opposite door side, the neighbor wants that. Yes. All right. Oh, and some more lights under the slide. So at night, you can put those on and nobody will crack their head. We don't want that. And then we got a docking light. So when you want to hook up in the evening, take advantage of that weekend. Stay as long as you can when you have a beautiful reflection, folks. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Let's go inside, check out some of the interior goodies. First glance, it's an open concept. It is very spacious with opposing slides. Free flow from the kitchen to the living room. Tons of windows spanning your entire campsite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows on your campsite kind of view side. And one in the kitchen. That doesn't hurt. So at the back, we have a sleeper sofa. This is a tri-fold sofa. Nice big picture window. So if you're backed up on the lake, beautiful view. Full sliding windows on the reflection. So you get great ventilation, great blackout roller shades. You get tons of storage. You get theater seats by Thomas Paine, which has heat massage and lights and cup holders built in. They're reclining, so you can take a little nap in the afternoon. I'm guilty for that. And that's right across from your entertainment system. This has a nice fireplace, about 5,000 BTUs of electric heat. You could just run the lights if you want a little ambiance in the evening. And you got a Jensen Bluetooth enabled uh, media system to run all your entertainment needs. And this is a smart TV on a swing arm, so you can position it into your kitchen if you want to get a cooking show going because you've got a residential kitchen, gourmet kitchen here, folks. You have a nice Furion range, really nice three burner cooktop by Furion. And to go with that Furion package, you've got a nice oversized microwave. Pop all the popcorn you want. And this is about Compass Connect. We talked about that. You download the app, you go to the app store, you click on Compass Connect, and then you link it up to your coach. And folks, technology allows you to auto level. It allows you to check your tank levels and lights on it. Yeah. Check it out. Look at the size of the island. Solid surface counters. Look at the nice big sink, stainless sink. Residential style pull out faucet. With a little sprayer there. Tons of storage under the island. Nice big drawers. Three more drawers on this side. So you got six drawers, oh, seven drawers in the kitchen. And then you have a big fridge, folks. This is, ooh, Norcold, 12 cubic feet, 
two-way gas and electric. And they wanna make sure that you have cold drinks this summer. So they give you four ice trays, folks. Look at this pantry. It's so big you need two motion sensor lights. I don't know how long you're going camping for, but I challenge you to fill this with food. But a common thing, not enough fridge. We got a big fridge, check. Not enough storage. We got a huge pantry, check. Like not enough sleeping, two, four, six, eight, ten. My goodness, mid bunk room. This is a multi-purpose room. This could be a office. You know, you set up a laptop computer there, work at the campsite. This is a tri-fold sleeper sofa that we can demo right now. So you got sleeping for two adults. You can put a TV if you don't want to put a laptop because who wants to work while they're camping, right folks? Blackout roller shades again, so you can get to sleep in in the morning. And the height in here is really good, even though there's a loft up there. Let's go check it out. So up here, we have a ladder. The kids love this. And you can get up to this king size loft area. A window, a vent, three lights, storage, a plug, side aisle bathroom. Pocket doors, I love pocket doors. Pocket doors are great because they're hidden, space saver, and they don't come into the hallway. On an RV, that's very important. Trust me, if you buy an RV with a door that does this, you're not gonna like it. Porcelain foot flush toilet storage for your linens. Acrylic shower with a seat. So if you're having a tough morning, had too many pops the night before, you can just sit down or, you know, use it to shave your legs or... A little skylight, natural light. And this is a massive shower. So you can even have a couple people in there if you want to be efficient. And then you got a medicine cabinet. You got a vanity with three drawers and a sink and then uh, some storage there. So tons of space and storage in this very functional side aisle bath. Master bedroom. Look at the size of this wardrobe. They got little blue lights up there. You got a motion sensor light. We saw that go on. We got spots for washer and dryer if you want to put two separate units or you can put a combo. But look at all the shelves in this walk-in closet. Shelves for clothes or shoes. Awesome. There's a 110 plug over here. And then there's mirrors to give you an illusion that the room is actually bigger than it is, but it is a big bedroom. This is a bed slide. This here is a queen bed, queen, 60, 80, but you can option it for a king. You would just lose these little end tables and it would fill up the space and make it a little bit of tight. You'd be shimmying, shimmying. Chest of drawers here. A big cavity under the bed for stuff you're not using every day, but tons of extra storage space. This is option with a second air conditioner. So you have a separate thermostat for the bedroom air. So if you want to keep it nice and chilly in your master bedroom, you can do so. 367 BHS, 41 foot, four slide, sleep 10, Alexandria Camping. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the thumbs up, if you liked it, stay tuned for more videos to come. We appreciate you watching. Have a nice day.